Nina, uh, congrats on the bricklayer. I really enjoyed the film, and I really like that your character, uh, Kate, she's very capable. She's, you know, on this mission, but she's not a damsel in distress or anything. She's moving the plot along. She brings a lot to the table. What what did you like most about this character? Because uh, it's very action-oriented. Yeah, I mean, the, the film in general, uh, thank you for saying that. It's... it's um... It's very fun. It's exciting. It's action packed. It's one of those movies that, um, you know, it's pure entertainment and it's pure fun. And at the same time, I was drawn to. Hold, please. <laughs> Sorry, there's a loud um, noise outside. Um, I was personally drawn to Kate as a character for a lot of reasons. And, and but one of the main ones is that I haven't gotten to play a character like this before I have been I call it a joke and call it like my big girl role because she's you know she's a young professional she is similar to me in a lot of ways in that like I am very meticulous and I like rules and I like schedules and I like you know having a plan kind of like Kate does and so it was fun for me to explore and play around with the dynamic of putting this like very OCD sort of anal retentive kind of rule follower with a maverick rule breaker. I thought that dynamic was really interesting. And I also loved the arc. You know, she starts off as one person and then throughout her journey, really by the end of the film is a completely different person. And you're sort of surprised by the decision that she makes at the end. And so um, that's what I was drawn to. But I, I do agree that she's not... Uh, your typical damsel in distress like you see in a lot of especially older action movies yeah and what I liked about this film particularly uh, as you said there is a lot of action but it also lets the story breathe and there's some really good character moments spread throughout what did you like most about that kind of combination in the script where you know there are those big set pieces but you know it's it's they still let the story be meaningful and have development like you were speaking to. Yeah. I mean, um, Rennie Harlan is a master at this, at his craft, you know, he's, he's a very prolific action film director and he, he shot this film really beautifully. And I think the editing's really good. It it flows, it moves. It's but like you said, it's not too, it's not like just explosion after explosion after explosion to the point where you're just nauseous and and numb to it. Like that's the other thing that was really interesting that I didn't really notice until I watched the film. Like once it was completed, like well, while we were doing it, I didn't really notice this. But um we get really beat up, you know, like we're we're real people. And Aaron is, you know, he's a retired CIA operative of a certain age and he gets hurt in the movie and we show that and we see the cuts and the bruises and then he has a limp. And so then the next scene and the next fight, he's like a little bit slower than the last fight because he has a little bit less energy. And so it, it feels more grounded than most action movies I've seen. It's not a Marvel movie where they just bounce back really fast and then you get desensitized. Like you really follow these characters and you can see yourself going through their journey because they're they feel more like real people in a lot yeah. of ways. My character, like she's it's her first time kind of in the field. And so she's not like gonna be like a Laura Croft action connoisseur. She's she's like actually fighting and she freezes at one point. She doesn't do what she thinks that she was you know, she expects that she was trained to do. She she can't do it in the real moment. And so, yeah. And I, I love how you and Aaron Eckhart uh, play off each other. Uh, you don't get along very well at first. And then you wind up uh, pretending to be husband and wife uh, for a section. Uh, what what stood out about just working with him and playing off that uh, dynamic? Because it's a, it's very fun to watch. Yeah, it, it it was really fun to to sort of have that um, tension between the two characters and you know as I mentioned that's one of the main reasons why I was sort of drawn to the character and to do this film was a Aaron in general he's just the choices that he's made over his long and incredible career um, 
have been amazing and and I've been a fan from afar for a really long time. So I was really excited at the opportunity to get to work with him and to sort of watch these two characters. Like you said, they, they don't get along at the beginning and they, they grow to appreciate and respect one another in their own weird way. Um, and by the end of the film are quite fond of each other in, in a lot of ways. And I'm always uh, curious to hear about prep because it, it differs so greatly from actor to actor. And this is based on a novel by Paul Lindsay. So I was curious if you did read the book or if you just prefer to go off what's there in the script. I definitely read the book. I also read another book um, because I just wanted a little bit more context into like the female, like sort of the young woman who enters the CIA. Um, there's another woman named um Amaryllis Fox who wrote it's it's her real life experience of being recruited by the CIA at a very young age right out of college and I, I just sort of felt like Kate had a lot of similarities a lot of parallels um to that experience so it was sort of like a mishmash for me between the two novels and uh in 2012 you were in the perks of being a wallflower and uh, over time, that film has just gotten such a bigger audience and people really appreciate it. How has it been seeing just uh, people flock to it and seeing the quality really stand out and, it, you know, becoming more popular as time passes? Yeah, it's pretty wild. I get a lot of people that approach me about that movie. It's I think that, you know, the story is so universal and whether you're an adult or an older person or a teen, like we've all had a, we, we all went through puberty and had our coming of age moment. And so that's what the movie is about is sort of becoming a young adult and making that transition. And, and it just deals with so many different themes. And I know that a lot of people are really big fans of the book and it's, it's a really great adaptation of a novel because the writer of the novel directed the film. So um, I think he, he was able to capture that, that essence and the energy and the beauty of the book and really translate it into the screen. And then my last question for you, um, one of your earliest roles was in Degrassi, uh, The Next Generation. And I was just curious, you know, getting that much screen time, that much experience at, you know, 17 and 18, how do you feel that kind of really set you up for success because you've had such a great career since then and uh you know it's unusual for somebody to get that much time uh that early on for sure i i don't think i really I was very naive and didn't really realize how lucky i was at the time um but it was kind of like a mini boot camp in a way i i, I was so green i was so new i really didn't know what a mark was or where to stand or what eye lines were, where to look, how to do anything really. And so I learned everything on that show. It it taught me and gave me that foundation and that experience on set that I needed to then later lead a show of my own. Um, I don't think I would have been able to do it or do it as, as well as I did. Um, I think I would have been a lot more overwhelmed if I hadn't had that prior experience.